Good morning everyone. Welcome back to the course Engineering Chemistry. Myself Dr. Harika Patnala, Assistant Professor, Department of Chemistry, MLR Institute of Technology, Hyderabad. In the previous class, we have discussed about the lithium metal battery, which is the primary battery and different types of lithium metal batteries we have seen based on the cathodic material and the electrolyte used, electrolytes of solid and liquid electrolytes and their applications and their shelf life. In today's class, we are going to discuss about a lithium metal ion battery, which is a secondary battery. The overview of this lithium metal ion battery is in this unit, in this topic, we are going to learn about the introduction of the lithium metal ion battery, how it was constructed and its working, how the electricity was generated during discharging and how the charging taken place, advantages, disadvantages and its applications, various applications. Let us move to the introduction. These batteries are rechargeable batteries. We can use for number of times, 2000 times or 4000 times. The maximum life of the battery is 4 to 5 years. Best suited for mobile devices that require small size, lightweight and high performance. In this type of batteries, lithium compounds are used, lithium cobalt oxide, lithium graphite, all these type of compounds we are going to use. These batteries are considered as best than pure lithium based batteries. These batteries are more advantageous, are more considered than the pure metal batteries. Metal ion batteries are superior than the lithium metal batteries. It works on the principle of the intercalation mechanism. Intercalation mechanism is nothing but lithium ions are moving into the site of the uh, free lattice sites. Lithium ion battery is a secondary battery. So it is having more number of charging and discharging cycles. As in lithium cell, it does not contain a metallic lithium as anode. It does not have any pure lithium metal. It is having lithium doped graphite. As the name suggests that the movement of lithium ions are responsible for the charging and discharging. So the mobility of lithium ions from anode to cathode and a cathode to anode, the charging and discharging depends. Lithium cells has the following three components or anode, cathode and electrolyte. Let us move to the construction and working. The construction of lithium ion battery consists of anode, cathode and electrolyte. The anode is lithium doped graphite LIXC6. The cathode is lithium cobalt oxide. LiCO2. The electrolyte which we are using is non aqueous. The complex lithium compound dissolved in organic solvents, in which consists of a complex lithium compound dissolved in organic solvents. If we use the aqueous content, sometimes the battery may bulge, there will be a leakage. So, we are going to use the organic solvents. So, let us see the working. The discharging, during the discharging, let us see. During the discharging, lithium ions flows from anode to cathode through the non-aqueous electrolyte. So, ions are moving through the electrolyte. The electrons are moving from anode to cathode through the external circuit. So, lithium ions are moving internally. Electrons are moving externally. Let us see the reactions. At the anode, oxidation has been taken place during discharging. So, you are going to get X lithium ions, X electrons plus 6 carbons. So, we have generated ions and electrons. The electrons are moving externally. Anode to cathode. Lithium ions are moving internally, same anode to cathode. So, at the cathode, we are having lithium cobalt oxide, which is having 1 minus 6 lithium ions. Let us think that. So, we are going to add at the cathode, lithium ions came to the cathode from anode internally to the electrolyte. So, we got X lithium ions. Electrons reach the cathode externally. So, 
here there are the lithiums 1 minus x here there is the x lithium ions so 1 minus x plus x is nothing but 1 we are going to get lithium 1 nothing but COO2 this is the cathodic reaction let us see the overall reaction overall reaction is nothing but lithium x C6 lithium doped graphite plus Li1 minus x COO2 gives rise to these lithium ions left side and these lithium ions on right side will be cancelled electrons on left side and electrons on right side will be cancelled so the products are 6 carbons Li COO2 plus we are going to generate electricity we are going to generate electricity so LiCX C6 gives X lithium ions which moves internally to the electrolyte electrons moves externally from anode to cathode both lithium ions and electrons reaches the cathode where the reduction taken place at the cathode reduction at anode oxidation oxidation at anode oxidation and the cathode reduction has been taken place let us see the charging during charging during charging so an external power source was given the current to pass in the reverse direction so we are going to pass the current in the reverse direction the positive terminal of the charging circuit is connected to the cathode here the positive terminal is connected to the cathode and the negative terminal is connected to the anode during discharging it is reverse during charging the positive terminal is connected to the cathode and negative terminal is connected to the anode let us see the cathodic half reactions the reverse reactions to these so LiCOO2 which are going to give X lithium ions Li1 minus X CO2 plus X lithium ions plus X electrons we are going to reverse the cathodic reaction by forcefully by supplying the external power source by supplying external power source we are making the cathodic reaction reverse that's why it is called as a reversible battery a rechargeable battery so the anodic half reaction is nothing but the reverse to the anodic reaction of the previous during the discharging so we are going to x lithium ions plus x electrons plus 6 carbons we are going to get lix c6 lix c6 so the overall reaction is lico2 plus 6 carbons while when we apply the charging when we apply the electricity to these products we are going to get back our reactants 1 6 COO2 plus LIX C6 now the battery was ready for use in lithium ion battery the lithium ions are transported to and from cathode or anode so the ions are moving from anode to cathode cathode to anode anode to cathode and cathode to anode but the transition metal cobalt complex where the cobalt has oxygen states of plus 3 and plus 4 cobalt is having two oxygen states plus 3 and plus 4 so where the cobalt oxidizes from plus 3 to plus 4 during charging and during discharging it was reduced plus 4 to plus 3 there is a change in the oxygen state during the charging and discharging during charging cobalt is oxidized during discharging cobalt is reduced let us see the pictorial hmm? intercalation of lithium ions what is meant by intercalation mobility of lithium ions incorporation of lithium ions in the site of the lattice structure if there is the if you see this this is the anode let us see this is the during the discharging during the discharging these are the graphite layers these are the graphite layers the graphite layers which are having li x c6 the layers of graphite which was doped with lithium lithium doped graphite so during the discharging lithium ions are going to be generated and electrons are going to be generated 
electrons are moving from anode to cathode in this direction. Where the current is traveling in the reverse direction, the electrons are moving from anode to cathode. Where the current is moving from cathode to anode, the lithium ions are moving from anode to cathode. So they will settle in the Li one minus x Co O two lithium cobalt oxide complex structure in the layers. So the lithium ions are moving from anode to cathode. This is called intercalation. So intercalation is nothing but incorporation of lithium ions in the sides of the in the sides of the lattice structure. In this way, the lithium ions are going to. So the anode and cathode is separated by a separator, which is made up of an ammonoid. So this is all about discharging. Let us see the charging. During charging, current is moving from anode to cathode. Electrons are moving from this is current I. Electrons are moving from cathode to anode. So the reverse reaction has been taken place at the cathode. Previously, at the cathode reaction has been taken place here. The cathode because of the supplying the external current, we are going to supply the external current to the cathode. The reverse reaction has been taken place where the at the cathode oxidation has been taken place. So oxidation has been taken place in which the lithium ions are going to be. Generated all the lithium ions will move from cathode to anode in the empty interstitial sites. This movement of lithium ions from anode to cathode, yet from anode to cathode, here cathode to anode is called intercalation. So the electron, the the lithium ions are moving through the electrolyte through the electrolyte. The electrons are coming from the externally. So lithium ions by gaining those electrons gets converted to lithium. They are going to convert to lithium, lithium, lithium. So the electrons are moving from cathode to anode externally. The ions are moving from cathode to anode. So the ions. Where the lithium ions are reduced to lithium atoms, these atoms will settle in the sides of the lattice structure. This is all about the mechanism. Advantages. Let us see the advantages and disadvantages. Advantages: they are ha they are having very high energy density than any other rechargeable batteries. These are lightweight. They produce high voltage, about four volts. Generally, any secondary battery or nickel cadmium battery, its range of one point five to two volts. But this is a battery. In place of two cells, we can use one lithium or metal ion battery, which generates four volts. They have improved safety. That is more resistance to overcharging. So even though if we continuously plug in, so it does not undergo any overcharging. No liquid electrolyte means they are immune from leaking. So. There is a chances for the solid electrolytes in this case, non-aqueous electrolytes. So there is no leakage and there is no bulging. It is having more fast charge and discharge rates. These lithium-ion metal ion batteries are having fast charge and discharge rates, good shelf life. Let us see the disadvantages. These are expensive. They are not available in the standard cells. Let us move to the applications. Applications of lithium ions in electronics and electric vehicles. The lithium ions are used in portable devices, includes mobile phones, laptops, tablets, digital cameras, camcorders, electronic cigarettes, handheld gamsols, and torches and flashlights. So many portable devices we are going to use the lithium metal ion batteries. These are used in medical devices such as. Cardiac pacemakers and other implantable devices. Nowadays, because of their uh, eco-friendly, maybe we can call it as eco-friendly and biocompatible. So these lithium-ion batteries are used in biological equipments, nothing but implantable devices, cardiac pacemakers. 
They are used in telecommunication equipment, instruments, portable radios and TV pages. The lithium ion batteries are used in the tools such as cordless drills, sandals, saws and a variety of garden equipment like snippers and hedge trimmers. Because of their lightweight, lithium ion batteries are used for energy storage for many electric vehicles from carts to bicycles, pedelecs. Pedelec is a bicycle where the rider's pedaling is assisted by a small electric motor. So it reduces the human energy. The energy, so it, the battery, the bicycle which is having an electric motor which consists of lithium ion battery makes our riding easy. Hybrid vehicles to advanced electrical wheelchairs. Lithium ion batteries are used from hybrid vehicles to advanced electrical wheelchairs. Radio control models and aircrafts to ro mass rovers which are used in Mars which with the help of the lithium metal ion battery we can generate the electricity. So lithium ion battery is a secondary battery. Let us do summary. In today's class we have discussed about the introduction, what is the use of lithium ion battery as a secondary battery, how it is, it is reversible rechargeable that's why it is called as a secondary battery which is reversible and rechargeable lithium metal ion battery and uh, construction the anode is LiXC6 lithium doped graphite and cathode is LiCO what is nothing but lithium cobalt oxide the electrolyte is lithium compounds, lithium complex compounds, compounds in combination of organic solvents, in combination of organic solvents and the working, during the working we have seen the discharging and charging, during discharging electrons moves from anode to cathode. Electrons moves from anode to cathode, ions also moves from anode to cathode internally, electrons moves from anode to cathode externally. Okay, during charging, electrons moves from cathode to during charging. We have seen the intercalation mechanism how lithium ions gets reduced at the sites and settled in the site of the lattice structure. And its advantages high energy density, good shelf life. Uh, fast charging and discharging and more number of charging and discharging cycles. It's a capacity of generation of 4 volts and its applications from biomedical devices to electronics and electrical vehicles we are going to use of long life. Thank you. With this we have completed battery chemistry. Thank you.